everybody this uh, video might be a little bit loud because my printer's right next to me and it's printing and cutting not my printer yeah my cutter and my printer are both going so if I decide it's too loud then I might just have to do a voiceover I'm hoping that I don't okay so what I am doing is the weekly challenge for next week the week of December 18th through the 24th and the theme is gifts I'm double checking right now I'm actually on my <clears throat> no sorry <laughs> actually at my desk um, filming this because the cutter is where I usually print and I know it's a little dim so I'm gonna brighten up my ring light that's a little bit better okay let's see I am going to be using the Christmas Noel sticker book that I've been using a lot I'm also wanting to include some dolls or some girls from this book it's the squad goals and it has all the different seasons and holidays so I'm hoping to use some of these girls and include them and then I am also pulling in this book here because I wanted to get a quote so right now I'm looking at this one merry and bright I think I might use that one it's the merriest happiest loveliest season of all I might use that one so yeah I'm pulling this one the winter one for quotes so let's get started I am NOT gonna use any washi this week I want to um, because I want to include boxes and here's one with gifts I love the boxes in this sticker book because they already make them kind of sticking out to the side, which I think is really cool. Uh, next week is going to be kind of a calm week for a change. Not too much craziness going on, which is good. So I'm going to include that box and then I want one that kind of matches it on this side. So I might have to go with the... None of these have gifts. I might have to go with the one that has the either the poinsettia or the Christmas tree. I think I'm gonna go with the Christmas tree one. Where was that sticker? Where was it? There it is. I think I'm gonna go with the one with the Christmas tree. So I'm gonna put this one over here at a little bit. I'm not going to try to match it, so I'm going to do a little bit lower, like that. And then I'm going to add these boxes here. I think for sure there's a couple things going on on the 21st. I know I have a, my dog has a groomer's appointment. I'll be going out to lunch that day, and my housekeeper's coming that day. The rest of the week is pretty calm. I do have um, church activities on Sunday for Christmas Eve, so I'll definitely be decorating up that part. And I have to wrap gifts, and I think, and prepare for dinner on Christmas Day. So I'm going to pull this one because it has a little gift on top, so I think it continues with the theme of gifts. So let's put that here. Oops, I want to cover the notes. Look at me going almost like totally straight so far if I haven't jinxed myself. All right, then I want to add some more boxes of, so I can see what colors do I have. I have pink, red, green, and gold. Okay, so I'm going to pull the pink and the green to put over here for things to do. And I'm going to put that here, one here, and one here it's kind of even it out kind of balancing things uh, sort of kind of and then I want to actually add a decorative box because this one has oh let's add to the noise by adding dogs barking why not why not okay so I'm gonna add this one Doing a little bit of a voiceover here because the puppy kept barking this entire time while I'm trying to figure out where to put this gift box down. I don't know if I clarified in the very beginning that what I'm working on is the challenge for the, this week of the December 18th through the 24th, which the theme for this week was to be gifts. So that's why I'm concentrating on using gifts as the 
you know, whatever I'm putting down. Um, yeah, so this box goes down pretty straight. I love this one. I wish they would have had more than one with that um, design on it because it's really pretty. But that was the only one I saw. There could be another one. I kind of go through the books too fast sometimes, I think. I don't take my time to kind of leaf through them and see what's in there. I just kind of willy-nilly throw myself into <laughs> slapping stickers down. So I uh, this sticker book, I have loved it for this season. I am going to actually look and see what they have for next season to see if I want to, you know, buy another one for whatever the next holiday is. I've never seen them dedicate an entire book to like Valentine's. They do have a spring one and and I think I've seen Halloween ones and those probably Christmas Halloween is probably the only two holidays that I have seen a lot of sticker books that are just dedicated to that. There are really nice fall ones too. So yeah, I'm going to go to the Happy Planner site and see what I find. They're having a lot of sales right now, so it's a good time to go check them out and maybe get last season's books but I think I might already have them so yeah let's see I'm working on Monday putting down boxes and then I'm gonna go back to what I was talking about and hopefully without the puppy barks let's see what happens now I want to add I wish there was some gifts so I'm gonna add gifts so there's some here so I'm gonna kind of make it. I'm going to put these gifts down kind of like topsy-turvy so that they kind of, you know, get sprinkled throughout to get, make sure that the theme stands out of gifts. Let's see if I, there's some more gifts in here. There's this one and this one. I guess I could use these two. I could put them as a corner of on the corner of something like these boxes. Okay, that's gonna be food for thought for a minute and see if I can find some more. Ah, yes. as if I have plenty of room to write but it still looks so too much white space so um I have this box here this decorative box here mm, maybe something here up here it feels kind of empty up there let's see um, I feel like I should be playing Christmas music in the background I almost started to sing and then I realized that I can't sing. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. La 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 la. Okay, that's good. Um, all right, so I do have, instead of washi, I have these strips that I could put up here and over here. Uh, would it be too much? I don't think there is such a thing when you're doing Christmas spreads as too much. Never too much. So, oh my God, the song that came to my head right now is from The Greatest Showman, Never Enough. Y'all know that song? It's stuck in my head. After I watched The Greatest Showman for the third time, I couldn't stop. 
that head that's that head that song from playing in my head and if you don't know the song it's um yeah greatest showman where the girl is singing because she's falling in love with um hugh jackman and the wife kind of starts like huh something is up here because of the way he's looking at her and the way she's looking at him but he's looking at her out of greed and she's looking at him out of love so but i don't think there was much of a difference because the wife was like mm -hmm, something is smelling bad here i got a twitch in my eye okay all right now it's time to add the girls Let's find some cute girls. Maybe there's one holding presents. That would be nice because it would add to the theme. Ooh, there's some gifts. Now these stickers don't exactly match the colors, but I'm okay with it. I love this girl's making snow angels. Here's one holding gifts. Oh, yes. Y'all, I know it's not gonna match. It really is not, but I don't care. I do care, but I don't care. Y'all know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, I have them backwards. I'm like, something looks really off. Okay, so she's going to stand right. She's going to be hanging out right here, holding her gifts. And then let me see if there's another one. Ooh, lotta, lotta, lotta. Here's another one holding gifts. What's cool about them is they're even wearing sunglasses. They're like, I am shopping and all my coolness. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's see. Do I need another girl? Um, I don't know. If this is the same one, she's just facing in a different direction. Okay, I kind of like this one up here. Oh, and then I need one more for this side. I like it. Okay. I think we're going to stuff it in here. And that will be my gifts bread for this week um do i need to add anything else i'm thinking about putting something up here there were some tiny little gifts that i saw never enough Okay, I had to cut her off before she went into a full singing mode and killed you guys' holiday, <laughs> holiday spirit. <laughs> so I decided, of course, to like overdo it and add these little gifts on the very top, across the top. And it looked really good. I thought it looked cute. I, I, when I look at this spread, it makes me smile. And I can't wait to fill it out for the week. I think it's going to, uh, once it's filled out and everything, it's going to be super cute. Um, so... After I did this, I thought I was done. So you'll see me waving like, yay, thank you for thank you for stopping by, etc. But then I realized, oops, I forgot my quotes. So I pulled out the sticker book that I had showed you guys in the very beginning to go through and see if I could use those quotes. But then I realized that the ones that I had wanted to use were way too big and I did not leave enough space for them. So thankfully there are some uh, foiled ones that I ended up um, using. So the first one I chose was this one. It says Merry and Bright. And I put that one down on the bottom left side. And it was almost as if I planned it. It fit there perfectly. I wish I would have zoomed out or zoomed in, zoomed out a little bit so that you guys could see it fully. But my camera, the way it sits, it's like a little bit right at eye level. So I have to kind of stand up and look down into the uh, to see how it's filming and I should do it more often and I don't so that's my bad but I guess you can see most of it 
And then on, um, I couldn't find one for the other side because I left hardly any space on the right side. But I did end up finding um, the little tiny jingle bells there on the side. I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. It'll fit and it matches the same kind of font and um, color of the Merry and Bright. So I end up placing that there. And now it's really done. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye.